Bird 232, uh, right heading 235, and report localizer established runway 27 left, Bird uh, 232. Hello everybody and welcome again to another review. And we are today looking at the uh, Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport that is, has been released by Flight Beam. I would say a month ago or so and this exact airport have the ICAO as Kilo Mike Sarah Papa and it have almost eight runways and we have a, a terminal that is called Terminal A that we're gonna look at and I'm gonna slide on top. First thing we're gonna do to give you exactly how well, how big is this airport is, and how well it is made to actually be compatible with Orbex Global. So you guys can see here: first and second runway, third and fourth, fifth and sixth, seventh and eighth so eight runways in total and one big terminal this is called terminal one and it's been divided into kind of like concourses so we have a through g concourses looking at the looking at the charts here and we are kind of like parked in the middle so we looked um, at the gate I mean this is one of the best add-ons that I have ever seen in terms of graphics textures I mean look at this rust I mean everything is, is phenomenal I mean look at those oil spots cargo containers marking and even the taxiway marking you kind of see them transition between and the smooth and the the kind of rough textures there very gorgeous very gorgeous scenery indeed so if we step to Runway 30 left has been the active today. We can see the wool made taxi marks from the aircraft taxiing in and out. And you can see how it goes from dark to light. Taxiway markings are very clear. 3D grass is not the best I have ever seen but if we look at the the overall ter terminal and parking and textures there it is a very phenomenal airport I mean everything is well made everything is thought about so when it comes to best developers in terms of quality, Flight Beam have earned its name for sure. So you can see here the Pappy Light. I'm gonna switch over to the opposite way to kind of give you a general idea. If we look to the right side, we can see here the general aviation and we can see here the FedEx area there so this is the cargo area general aviation and we have the terminal here and the tower
So I'm going to jump right back in and show you guys a little bit of the dislikes that I have found in this scenery. First of all, we have no moving jetway. So that I didn't honestly like because I have bought a flight beam sceneries before and they do have a moving jetways. So it might be the the parking that I'm at that have no moving jetway. I honestly doubt it. But even though there are no jetways. So if we look at the terminal area here, it's very well put together, parking and everything is thought about and been designed accordingly. So when it comes again to what I don't like and the scenery that had to be the the not available jetways and I mean honestly this is about it. This is the only thing that I found inconvenient when it comes to this gorgeous scenery. I mean the the half cad has been designed very well if we start asking G gsx for for taxi in or pushback he will guide us very through on the line everything is have been designed and put together accordingly no moving jetway is one of the big concerns that i have with the scenery as it's been their latest and it is lacking one of the main features, honestly. We have the last guy, I believe. No, this is the second to last. So, yeah. This was my quick and dirty review of the St. Paul Neapolis International Airport by Flightbeam. So, there you guys have it. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hope to see you in the next one.